tragic week for the LGBTQ community because the baby decided to be the homophobe and just go crazy. And there's a lesson to learn in this shit. There is a lesson. And hopefully I remember at the end of all this discussion. Can you go over what he said one more time? What did he yes, say? Yes, yes, yes. So for everybody that doesn't know, the baby has been in the news this week um, for being the stupid one. And like it started at Rolling Loud. So I think it's the end of his show. And normally what artists do at the end of their thing, they they want to get the crowd hype. So they'd be like, yo, put your hands up. If you make money, ah, ah, ah. Damn. The baby said, nah. I'm going to be revolutionary. Yo, put your motherfucking hands up in the air. If you don't got HIV or AIDS, put your hands up in the air if you're not sucking dick in the parking lot. What the fuck? Yo, that is so unnecessary. Like, just imagine being the one gay dude in the audience. Like, you're sitting there like you got... Uh, not gay dude, one, one dude with AIDS in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine just having AIDS, you in the audience. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at rolling loud. Hi. I can see all my artists. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. put your hands up in the air if you don't got AIDS and you... How about yo? Why you, you do warms that? It up. Yo, put your hands up in the air if you got twenty dollars in your pocket. Yeah, but niggas be lying. Put your hands up in the air. If you got, yeah, put your hands up in the air if you got AIDS. You crickets. You just look around. Keep it a stack though. Like, Your one friend that knows is looking at you. <laughs> keep it a stack though. Like if that was me and I, God forbid, had AIDS. So I someone threw a shoe at him. I'm putting my hand up in the air. Mm-hmm. Like put your hands up in the air if you don't. I'm like me too. I don't. Oh, yeah, you just want to be you like, got to. You can't. Yeah, you don't want niggas knowing your business. Well, you know, not everyone have their hands up in the air. Just people don't want to put their hands up in the air. And yeah. Like, oh, you got AIDS. Like, oh, you, you but got AIDS. It's just. Why are you thinking about niggas sucking dick in the parking lot too? While mid show, like that's what was on your you mind. You said, like, put your hands up in the air if you're not sucking dick in the parking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, the guy was like, "There's a lot of sus ones out there." Like the DJ. Okay. And he's like, "Yeah, there's a lot of sus ones out there, or something of that nature." Um. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just don't. What if he was referring to the women? No. He wasn't. Yeah, the HIV thing. Yeah. No, it wasn't the HIV thing. Cause mm-hmm. he, I think he would have been fine with the HIV comment if mm-hmm. he didn't mention. He said niggas sucking dick in the parking lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, Never mind. I think that's when it tied it together, and mm-hmm. it was like boom. And even then, even then, hear me out. He could have still gotten away with it because you could have been like, "Yo, that's just your assumption." Like I didn't say that. It's his second. Um, Stu- level of stupidity He increased level of stupidity And now this dumbass Brings up On What's that thing called IG um, mm-hmm. IG Post That He's like Oh I wasn't talking He was like When I said uh, Put your hands up in the air If you got HIV or AIDS I'm talking about All people Like Basically just kind of Being like a dickhead about it I wish I had it Like the quote Verbatim But you pull it up Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You can pull it up Mac quick It's on his uh, thing Nah, you just gotta Google the baby um, thing, but that's fucking crazy. Yeah, so basically, while he pulls that up, it's like he's just basically responding to the hate he's been getting. By and then what makes it how he ruins it is by saying, "Yo, m- even my gays don't have HIV." Um, I was talking about my gays are classy, not you dirty ass niggas, um, dirty gay niggas. Okay. And that's where it's like, yo, like mm-hmm. now you're tying HIV to gay people and you're not really thinking about what you're saying. Like, fam, like anybody can get HIV Jesus. and you got to like reduce that stigma um, of that shit. Like you don't got to be that fucking ignorant to say, oh, okay. Like, yo, like I'm not talking about gay people, like gay niggas. I don't have gay, dirty niggas. Like what? Like what do you what what the fuck are you saying? Just like shut the fuck up. Did you find it or um this is like a long ass article I'm trying to find the actual video, but Oh, uh, okay. I said T I defending him. Yeah. So um hold on, I'm gonna get to that at the end. So let's start there. Let's start there. Dua Lipa came at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's start there. We're at the point right now we're at the point where the I found baby- it. The, the baby doubled down. Oh, you're gonna play the audio. Should I? Ah, uh, damn, I don't have the cord on me. Yeah, if you can get closer to the mic. I don't think it's it. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, hold on. My father's a little scuffed. I'm trying to do it right. That's good. The audience at the live show, it'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip from their goddamn crib on their phone. It just don't work like that. Like, you know. Regardless of what you talking about, how the internet been twisted up my word. Me and all my fans at the show, the gay ones and the straight ones, we turned the 
back up. Okay. I'm talking about my boy that was at the front of the stage, left over there by where I jumped at. Ask him. He got clips all on it. The whole night was recording. We were turned the whole night. My boy had the crop top on, front row. <laughs> yeah, out there in, okay. in that jungle, in that water. What? Yeah, he out there. He's standing on the rail. Got them cutting up. He know the words. I saw him. I'm, I'm rapping them bitches with him. Yeah. The hell y'all talking about? Y'all shut the f up. You is that what that ain't at the show? The show is for the who paid the money and, and took the time out of their life to come enjoy the show. Not you is watching it on the internet at the crib. No, just get your tickets and come with the live show killer. Gay or straight. I don't let these I say if you don't got AIDS, put a cell phone light up. Here we go. I say if you ain't sucking He's the down. Line, put your cell phone lights yep. up. Why are you coming to with these? So I could drop my next song. I wasn't going on no rant. That's called a call to action. That's what that's called because I'm a live performer. I'm the best. You said a call to action? Yeah, call, call action for the dicks. You Is interact he... with your fans. You get what I'm saying? Look. Is he running an anti-AIDS campaign? Straight. You want to know why? Because <laughs> even my gay fans don't got an AIDS. Stupid. How do you know that, for one? They don't got AIDS. They probably don't. Fans, they take care of themselves. They ain't going for that thing. They ain't no nasty gay niggas. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no junkies. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? On the street. It keeps getting worse. Then I said, you ain't don't have a manager. Oh, oh no. <laughs> to baby, up. stop it. You don't got a manager? Oh, man. Yeah. He, he had to delete this video, right? This is deleted. Nah, but it's long and I want to. I nah, he, he deleted that shit. Please. It's probably gone now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but you made a great point. Holy Do you fuck. not have a fucking manager? <laughs> Son. He does. You know, the manager's watching this like. Yo, what the fuck? Like, yo, bro, you had one job. PR team, marketing, mm -hmm. advertising, management, you, you, touring. Anybody that works for him is mm -hmm. pissed right now. And you know, the biggest oh. problem, this is my take on it. The biggest problem with this uh -huh. is the baby. Is very industry. Like he sold his sold his way out to record labels. Yeah. Took all the money they gave him, and they propped him up on a fucking. Bro, he was number one for like. They 10 propped years. him up. No one. Have you ever met an actual the baby fan? I'm a hardcore the baby. I never met in my life a hardcore the baby fan. Nah. But this dude is like the the household name at this fucking point. Yeah. Definitely. But even before even before these comments, he was a household name the, before COVID. But here's my take: is if, you know you you live by a sword, you die by a sword. So you you sell yourself to all these labels as the industry guy. Uh -huh. Once you you get you gotta stay on that line, and once you fall off that line, they're gonna toss you out. They're gonna kick you right out as fast as they yeah. took you in. So he's fucked. You know what I mean? Like, and the, and your music isn't good enough to. Tory Lanez got canceled and still recovered because he actually makes good music and he's actually a good artist. Yeah. But you, on the other hand, you rap on the same beat and got one flow. So yeah. it's like. I mean, he does. I'm, I don't like that he got one flow shit because he does change it up here and there. But uh -huh. you know, he sounds the same on every song for the most part. So, so. here's here's my thing about that. Um, and you made a good point about him being industry, right? Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely right. He's industry. Very to very, me, very very industry. When you're in this position, because it looked like they was catapulting his ass to superstardom, like mm -hmm. pop star level. You do a song with. Dua Lipa, mm -hmm. nigga, you're not just some nigga on the label. Mm -hmm. You are the it guy on the label right yeah. now. Yeah, you're so, the go-to feature guy. Mm -hmm. You got to be smarter than that. You're the and you're then, the guy that we're like, oh, we need a rap verse who to appeal to a different audience. Who do we call exactly. the baby? Like, we call you. Yeah, left foot, <laughs> you know what I mean. Right foot, let's get it. Like that was him <laughs> you know on Dua Lipa. Oh, you want me? I want you. I, I didn't realize it was that song. Yeah, too. he was on that shit. Um, so you have to realize what you say you should realize this regardless but you have to also know where you are right now is like you got to pick and choose your fucking battles do you really want to die on his principle do you want to die on his hill right now and he's choosing that route to die on his fucking hill and it's like for what reason mm -hmm. you fucked up you were thinking about dick in the middle of your show you don't show. think he's gonna apologize or do nothing no he's gonna... but no why i don't think he's gonna apologize because he doubled down on the double down again he doubled yeah, down on top of that even more double down um, damn, and I'm hitting a blank right now, which is really mm -hmm. unfortunate. Because he's doing the Tory Lanez, but you're not you're you're not Tory Lanez. Yeah, 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 like people think. I was just actually talking to someone about this, and they're saying like, mm -hmm. "Oh, if Tory Lanez could survive getting canceled, so can the baby." But they don't realize that Tory Lanez was always independent. No, I don't think he's ever signed a major label. No, he was. He, he was, but he, he was under Interscope, and mm -hmm. then he bought himself out. Yeah, but yeah, he's he he always knew how to thrive and make his own thing, make his own mixtapes, make his own yeah, release his own yeah, music yeah. independently. 
This dude, the baby, does not have that capability, and you no know, people don't want to listen to a whole the baby album. So it's like, yeah, I, I've never listened to an. I listen to songs. I, I, I like some of his songs. He has some hits, but, but I've never listened to an album. He's got some hits, but it's like I don't think he's an artist that'll ever have longevity like that. Yeah. So, I mean, he was on the pace to have longevity because well, during labels, COVID, yeah. yo, he had the number one song on Billboard for like ten mm-hmm. weeks. And I was saying, I was like, what the? It was Rockstar. He has a couple good. He has a, he's a good rapper. Yeah. Though. He's like, a, he has an interesting, like, he's so, an interesting rapper. I'm not a fan, but. Doubling down on the double down is stupid. And his, oh, now I remember. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you kind of like veered off because now I remember what he did. He dropped a, a video, a music oh, video. Oh, yeah. So, and it, and this is my opinion. I heard it was good. I have to see it. I heard it was good. It was, it was all right. Yeah. Um, I'm not like the video itself, I, but I, I kind of look at it for different things. Like the quality was crazy. Like everything concept was like I I fuck with that, mm-hmm. but it looked like there was one thing he had like the screenshot and it was uh it just has a Sign sign with him saying AIDS, and it's like yo how convenient is that that you got a video coming out the video has nothing to do with AIDS by the way like mm-hmm. it's just why what was the AIDS and even exactly. context what nothing. context was no there was no context I mean it, it was, was I saw a picture of him holding a sign that said AIDS yeah I mean he did rap like a bar that said like oh I think he said I'm like AIDS or we are like AIDS I'm on your ass bitch like something like that of that nature it's a Ill, that's a it's a bar he, it's, he said it, it sounded better yeah, um, yeah. Than I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying like a white guy like why why is AIDS. the baby Putting a campaign against AIDS for you. <laughs> if you were AIDS. Yeah, it would have been better if you was. <laughs> Imagine like just replace AIDS with cancer and pretend like everything he said was the same. Like you're like you're not my shit. fans not dirty and they don't you know they don't yeah, they don't got cancer. Like <laughs> put your hands up in the air if you don't got cancer. It's like come on, relax, oh, dog. <laughs> like yeah, chill what are you out. doing? So like what the fuck? I feel die of AIDS, chief. Like yeah, I think I think we uh I think we got AIDS covered now though. I think it's like one of those diseases we got cured basically. Nicky, you right? could just. I had to go get that shot, by the way. I forgot. Yeah, AIDS? Shot? No. Shot? <laughs> no, I don't have AIDS. Like you, can't just, you can't just segue. <laughs> you can't just segue from AIDS. No, nah, to... but you, there's a shot you can get that prevents you from getting AIDS. Okay. And really? then they're like, yeah, yeah. My okay. doctor was telling me, she's like, oh, yo, you should go get that. It's free. It's just like, game you. I don't know. <laughs> but um, nah, even they got the like the step up to get prepped up shit. I think that's AIDS. Preparation age? Oh, that's not, that's I don't like, know. That's like, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. that's like hemorrhoids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that a month ago. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, the baby man. So yeah, he doubles down with the music video, and then everybody's it's tearing so him a weird. new one. Like, yes, it but is you weird. have one job. Like, sh- first shut off, like, fuck shut up. the fuck up. Like, your industry, your industry, shut up. Bro, you know what's bad when Chris Brown st- niggas said. You know what's bad when Chris Brown was telling you to shut the fuck I up. I saw that. Yeah, I, I like, saw that. Man. Chris Brown was like, he literally just said, "Yo, you got one job. Shut the fuck up." Yeah, that's how you know you really in some deep shit. Yeah, when like nigga that like has multiple uh, sexual abuse allegations against him. It's like, yo, shut up. Like, yeah, like you're just wild. Shut up. He kept digging his grave deeper and deeper. Yes. And you know what happens when you do that? Niggas start bringing up all your past history. Yeah. I mean, now it's, oh, you hit this woman. You killed this nigga. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I always forget. People forget he killed someone in a Walmart like a year yeah, ago. I forgot. He murdered, just pl- straight up murdered somebody in a Walmart. Yeah, it's easy to forget. It was fucking nigga. crazy. I mean, it was self defense, but yeah. Allegedly. Well, I mean, yeah, he got yeah. off. He got charges. He got off on the charges, allegedly, but. So. Yeah, it's a. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, and then this. But it's always. Fu- it, I mean, I don't expect him to. You know, I'm not surprised that he's homophobic. Let me say it like that. All right, hear you know me out I mean? on this. You get a, you get a rapper from from Charlotte from like North born, born and raised from Charlotte, North Carolina, grow, growing up maybe not the best environment where you know around gang violence and you yeah. know around, you know people get sh- he's involved in in gang activities. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not that you know. Yeah. You would you would assume someone like that would be somewhat homophobic. Hear me out. Is that a crazy thing to say? I don't think you're so. not. You're absolutely right. I don't think he's homophobic. I think he's just dumb as fuck. I, like I really think he's just genuinely stupid and just doesn't know the words that he's used. Like you know, some niggas just say I, words and don't know what they mean. I think being that ignorant is considered like being homophobic. Though. That's fair. Yeah, that's absolutely that's, fair. If you're that ignorant to some, say yeah. something like that, it's like. I don't but know. I just perceive him to be really stupid. I think I'm with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm with, I'm with like, you. Like when I look at him, I just think he's unintelligent. Like here, yeah. If someone were to like sit him down and explain to him exactly why what he said I don't was think wrong, I know. I think eventually he'd get it. He'd be like, Yeah, I probably. Not you don't think someone that. called him by now? No, someone did. Like you don't think niggas called I think, him? I think he got the apology coming this week. I hope. I think. I hope he's Probably gonna he's gonna be like, oh, a lot of my fans are gay, and I, you know, he, he was singing. Over, yeah, he said that. Like they singing every word. To my, I'm like, all right. Yeah. So niggas been called him. You, you the priority at your label. Niggas called you that night. Like, yo, what are you doing? Shut up. 
So Man, he was worse than Lil Boozy. <laughs> nah, that's not Lil Boozy came last. It was Ti that came to his defense well, first. Ti said, "Ti is like, yo, him. like, why, why can Little Nas X kiss a dude on TV, but a rapper can't say what's on his mind at a show? And like, why are we being held more accountable than um other shit?" And niggas was Ti, like, Ti, yo, Ti has been canceled so many times, and he they don't called even... him the Hyman Hitler. I'm sorry, the Hitler Hyman. I remember that. Niggas Bruce called Bonner. him the Hitler Hyman. Yeah. Son, stay out of this. There's so much shit, too. This is, you can mm. a list of shit T.I. has done. Oh, the sex trafficking shit that's been going on, sexual abuse shit that's been going on lately with him. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a long like, list of dirty laundry, T.I. You, 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 you got to know when to just be like... T.I. is crazy, crazy, too. I wouldn't like That's one person you don't want on your bad side is T.I. T.I. Mur- probably has murdered a Bologna lot of people. gun charges. A lot of people. A lot of people. But still. He's like Gucci Mane level crazy. Like, Yeah, he is. But my nigga, like, why bring Little Nas X into this shit? Yeah, it was unnecessary. Actually, let me backtrack before I get into that. Because you did bring up Boosie. Boosie just kicked the can over. Like, what, what did he uh, say? I don't even the know baby brought the garbage can out. T.I. lit it on fire. Boosie kicked it over and let it roll down the hill. <laughs> Boosie like, was just, no, <laughs> Boosie already established himself as the homophobic voice in hip-hop. Yeah. He established, like, this is, this is what I believe. <laughs> like, he's dying on that hill of homophobia. But you know what? He, he could do that. T.I. could do that. Because they're not industry guys. Like, you know what nah, I mean? Nah, T.I., like, T.I. Be still having he business. He been, Boosie's so, not. Yeah. But still, no, nah, you shouldn't do that, period. But Obviously, you shouldn't do that, period, yeah. Fucking Boosie just finished it off. And I don't even really want to repeat it, but let's just say he said the F word and called little Nas X the F word. He said, why can that bleep um, say yeah, that? For real. But like the, um, the baby can't say um, what he wants to say. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they just kind of ignore Boosie because it was like, yo fam, you paid a grown ass woman to have sex with your kid because you thought he was gay. Did he actually do that? I heard yeah. That oh, I man. mean, Boosie said it. This came from Boosie is so toxic. <laughs> so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, at this point, I kind of feel bad for Lil Nas X. It's like, why you gotta bring? Like now, niggas are making him the gay voice. <coughs> like, <laughs> he's the. I, was I mean, he's the Dirk. gay. <laughs> yeah, he's the gay. Uh, he got the voice, the hero, and the gay. Mm. Like, <laughs> did we ever talk about his uh, Lil Nas music video? No, we did it, but that's probably why he's like. Uh, I thought it was cool. I, I like the song. I think his music is fucking good. Yeah. No, you don't. No, I think it is. I'm not like I wouldn't. Nigga, you to killed it. me like a year ago. Like for what? Uh, I was the first. I, was, nah, I probably album. showed you Old Town Road. I don't. No, so, I knew about Old Town Road. Not Old Town like Road. 30k. It was the album. I said I like it. And you said this is ass. Did I? Yeah, you was killing a me for that nice? shit. Yes. No, I think it was, I think it was uh, Jaden. Jaden Smith. Nah, I would smack you. Like <laughs> we would have fought. <laughs> <It was laughs> we would have got the shake. I, I called Jaden Smith ass. Mm. But um. We would have got the shake it again. I don't know. Do you think it's a? You, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Just what? Straight up dicks in it, like a lot of dicks in his videos. I mean, I couldn't see I it. Get it. Yeah, all right, I get it. I couldn't see you. You imagine the dicks? No, nah, just like every <laughs> like every music video is just a whole bunch of dicks. Like, all right, if that's your thing, like I mean, because people keep bothering him. No, people no. keep bothering him. Like, was that like that's like a new that's your lane now? You used, yeah. used the dick rapper. <laughs> like, I get you gay, obviously. Little dicky, little, little Nas. All right. My dick sucks. <laughs> My dick I suck sucks. dick. <laughs> just Lil Nas X and Lil uh-huh. Dicky. That's a good collab. Ooh, I should be an A&R. Yeah. But listen, I don't know why he needs to be the voice of the gay culture. I don't even think he wants to be the voice of the gay culture. Uh, he kind of made himself that, though, to be fair. Yeah, but to be thrown in everything gay is kind of nuts. Like <laughs> anything, If it's hip-hop and it's gay, you got involved, chief. Like, like, if it's hip-hop and it's gay, you're Niggas don't even ask him for his opinion. They just be like, yo, like, how come Lil Nas X could do this? Like, <laughs> like yo, what? Damn, all I did was kiss a dude. First of all, what's wrong? Like, I didn't do... I didn't offend anybody. Oh, he exactly. Did. He you just, just kissed the nigga. He probably did offend to some people. But yeah. Oh, no, nah, you offended Boosie. Yeah, you offended Boosie. Definitely offended that nigga. Boosie was up in arms. What? You kissing niggas? <laughs> Boosie's fucking crazy. And then niggas started killing Jack Harlow because it was like, yo, like, how dare you be straight? Like, what? You know, if you know Jack Harlow, he's a wild nigga. Like, he says some he gay make a shit wild before. gay joke. Him and Drewski. OD. OD. Yeah. So it was like, but why are you killing Jack Harlow mm-hmm. for being straight? Just because mm-hmm. the video's gay. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Jack. Like, and Jack responded. He was like, I, I should have pulled up naked in that. I'm going to do that next time. Someone asked we'll Jack. We'll pull um, up naked to the VMAs. Someone asked Jack, how much would it cost? Um, would you suck dick for $100 million? And he's like, nah, I could do it for less. I'm all about the bag, baby. <laughs> That's fast. Like, <laughs> come on. Like, I'm a, I'm a ba- he's I'm a bag chaser. Mm-hmm. He's funny. I, I really give, like You him. know what? I give it like another generation. I think the homophobia is really going to be gone from hip hop in general. I another doubt generation it. or two. I doubt like it. Like 10 years? Yeah, I it's think it's impossible. Be, yeah, I think it's going to be gone in like 10 Depends years. You keep getting these gangster rappers in, though. 
So. Yeah, even the gangster rappers are becoming more progressive and less, you know, less edgy. Yeah, when they're old and decrepit. Nah, like, even even the, the young new rappers would be. Like, no. the newest rappers out, like, Lil Baby ain't saying anything about gay people. Oh, Lil Baby. I'm thinking of Lil Baby's, Not though. Not Lil Baby, but, yeah. I just think it's about to box the shit out of your skull. <laughs> <laughs> but I like him up there, though. Like, yeah, is he aesthetic? Yeah, because he was eating the plant.